63% of pastors indicate that stress plays a role in their personal lives. Like how have the stresses of the pastoral ministry changed for you and how are you dealing with them? <laughs> uh, stress well, what? There's stress involved? I'm not. No. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, when I was in music, uh, part of my ministry was I was the part-time minister of music at the church that I'm not pastoring. My dad was the pastor. It's amazing when I think of what stressed me out back then and where I'm at now. Back then, you know, hey, you know what? It's not my church. <laughs> Let dad worry about that. And I was concerned with, you know, uh, do we have enough people in the choir? And what are we doing for Christmas? And oh boy, now it's time to plan Programs. for Easter. Yeah, program stuff. Um, and and uh, and then you become a pastor and, and all of a sudden you stand up, and you know this, yeah. you stand up behind the pulpit and you look out and you are feeling the stress of every person that you know, you every carry, family. You carry their yeah. stress. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's just, I mean, you know what I'm sharing, what I'm saying, what I'm preaching to them, um, this is where they're at in life. This is, and you know, this, yeah. this lady just, her husband just passed away. You know that this couple out here has a, a, a son, a daughter who's, you know, they, they don't know where they're at. And, and this one over here just had a bad doctor's appointment. And this one's facing a financial crisis. And you know all this. Uh, and that adds to the stress. Absolutely. Um, and so it's, yeah, it's, it's not easy. But one of the things that I've tried to come to grips with and that I've understood more being a pastor than even as a music director, I can still say, it's not my church. Huh. It's his church. It's his church. I am just, I have the awesome reward and responsibility of being the one that's here to help people find peace in the midst of that struggle and to share with them what God has laid on my heart and, and trust that his spirit will use it to impact them. And the cool thing about God and what we do is that does it matter what the worship is and does it matter what we say and how we say it? Yes, yes, we want to pursue excellence and all that kind of thing. But the cool thing is that the Spirit of God somehow can take what it happens on a Sunday and meet people at the point of their need. You're making a distinction between ownership and stewardship. I think it's important Yeah, that we don't own. We don't. Our yeah. leadership roles have no ownership associated with it. Yeah. We are only given a season to be the steward of this thing. Yeah. And then somebody else takes over. Yeah. But it is really hard in the moment to not feel like an owner. To yeah. To not take it personally when people don't like what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, to distance yourself emotionally from criticism. It's difficult. And yeah. I think pastors, that's a stress that they struggle with.